Well, hello. It's been a long time. I haven't made an update, and uh, I, I haven't been very active on here because I don't know in what direction to take this channel. I think that has to do with the fact that I'm in the, at the same point in life. Kinda. It's not easy being a young professional. It really isn't. Uh, uh, it's not easy being in your mid-twenties either. Yep, yeah, I'm 25. <laughs> this year has been strange because um, I had to move back to Sweden from, from New York. What happened was that my, my student visa expired, my working permit on my student visa expired. So um, to stay in the US, I had to go for an entirely new visa, a professional visa, but I chose not to because I feel like I want to take a step at a time and be prepared for it. And I felt like I wasn't. And now I've been in Stockholm for um, almost two months and I feel like I'm not, I, I just don't know where to go. And it, it sucks to not, to feel like you're not doing anything. I, ju I just want to find my way in somewhere. And I've chosen not to document this. I've chosen not to share any of this uh, because I, I, I feel, I, I'm, I'm afraid that people will see it as a setback. But that's just part of my journey. Like, I started this channel because I wanted to document my journey. And this is part of it. Who am I to just like cut out the bad parts? That's what people love to see anyway. Yeah, you love this, don't you? You're loving this. Ollie is, uh, Ollie is in a mid mid twenties crisis. Oh, grab the popcorn, won't you? No, I'm just kidding. What I want to say with this video is that it's okay to feel lost. You know, I we all do, but we are much much less explicit with that as opposed to when we have success. Um, and I've been very good at documenting my success or, you know, m whatever projects I'm doing or, or blah, blah, blah. But this is also a part of it. And um, it's a very important part of it. I'm a little bit lost and that's okay. But I, I just want to take one step at a time as well. I am so tired of hearing 19 year olds tell me to seize the day you know, I mean, they're so cute and, and I love them and, and they just finished school and they just realized that life is so beautiful and, and great. And uh, it is. God, I sound bitter. I sound bitter in this video. But that's not, the, I mean, I don't mean to. That's not the point. But I just don't need to, people to tell me to, to live my life to the fullest or uh, seize the day. Like, I know what carpe diem means. Like, I've read it on every decoration in every suburban household that I've been to. But it's so much easier said than done. It's so much easier said than done. I don't want to stress through life. I don't want to do things according to plan. I've, I've tried that. I've tried to plan my life and it doesn't work. Like I had so many plans when I moved to New York and nothing went in that direction. Like nothing went according to plan, but it got so much better. Because I jumped on opportunities that I saw, and that took me places that ultimately was where I wanted to go. And that's how I want to live. I take opportunities that I get, and if I don't get any, I create them myself. Even though it's hard, and it might take time, but I don't want to stress it. I don't want to do it. Hmm. When I started this channel, um, I didn't really have an idea of, of where it was going to go, and I still don't. But it is true that I have, at this point, what is it? October 16th. I have almost 2,000 subscribers. And I, I don't know who you are, and I don't know why you subscribed. Um, but I would like to know. So if you're watching this, I just want to ask why. What, why are you watching this? Who are you? And what do you want to see? Why did you subscribe to me? Or if, you, if you're not subscribed, do so for that one video a year that you'll get by being subscribed to my channel. Um, all right. Well, this was fun, cheerful. Um, yeah, no, goodbye for now. See you again soon.